Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. I am about to walk into a hair appointment. I have not gotten my hair done in, I don't know, I wanna say like five months. It is the end of September now, and I think the last time I went was the end of April, maybe beginning of May, so it's time. I kinda liked how like dark my hair was getting, it was like a vibe for a minute, now I'm over it. <laughs> for a while I was thinking I was gonna go darker and just go like full, like dark, dirty blonde, and then I was like no because I've gone darker before and it just like doesn't feel like me I feel the best when I'm blonde just because like I grew up with super blonde hair So I just feel like really confident and really like just myself when I have my blonde hair I'm gonna get all of the dead ends chopped off my hair is like I don't know if you could see my hair is so long and Then I used to have some nice curtain bangs. They were like right here. They grew out so So much so I'm gonna get these these chopped off to like here I just want like some messy dimension and texture to my hair so I'm gonna ask for lots of layers go super blonde just touch up all my highlights and chop off all of the dead ends just to kind of freshen it up but like literally guys like my hair is so long so I just thought I would bring you guys along for my hair appointment I do not like getting my hair done I think it's so boring <laughs> I don't like getting my nails done like I just don't like sitting for so long like while they just foil just like little strands of your hair for just hours and I'm just sitting there like hurry up <laughs> like it's so boring I don't know if you guys like doing that I know like some of my friends love getting their hair done it's just like a pamper day but I'm just not like that I just get so bored and then I always get a headache because like the whole place smells like hairspray <laughs> so I'm just excited for it to be done with so I can feel like fresh and ready to just like conquer anything I'm going out later so I'm excited just to have like a fresh haircut all I'm gonna ask for is literally just just like some super short curtain bangs um, I was looking up on Pinterest curtain bangs and I found some cute um, little inspo photos so I'll pop those up right here and then I'm just gonna say I want to go really blonde just touch everything up and then cut off the dead ends and just add some layers so that's what I'm gonna ask for I just thought I'd film some time lapses and we can see the final result <laughs> I did not finish the video at the hair salon and that is because I learned a very very valuable lesson and I'm going to share that lesson with you right now never ever 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 go to the hair salon or go anywhere for that matter without eating or drinking water I was just super stressed out that day to where like I only had a little bit of coffee in the morning and it was like I was running late and I was so busy I didn't even have time to even think about eating and getting fuel into my body. We had pulled the foils out and I was like, oh, it's like a lot, like the color was just off. Like I just wasn't very happy with it. It was more of like a silvery gray type blonde. Like it just wasn't what I wanted. She was like, okay, we'll go throw some toner on for a second. And then we came back out and they started blow drying. And all of a sudden I felt so dizzy and so sick. And I fainted in the past so I know what like, what to look for when you're about to faint and I fully almost just fully blacked out and almost passed out in the chair so I was just trying to focus on breathing blowed my hair dry and I was so dizzy and so weak my hair did not turn out the exact color I wanted it to but that's okay because well, I'll tell you that in a second, but anyways, I went to my parents' house after. I just sit in my car for a little bit and just kind of breathe with the air conditioning. And then I went home, I ate a sandwich, drank some water, I just laid down. I felt so sick. So never, ever, ever again in my life will I go to the hair salon without bringing a full bottle of ice water and like a protein bar, or a snack, a sandwich, something. Because that was not not okay i literally i was so scared i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna faint they're gonna have to call 911 like whoa, whoa whoa so i learned my lesson just don't do what i did so i'm gonna do my <laughs> hair reveal right now so after they did the toner and stuff like my hair is literally just kind of like a dirty blonde a little bit like it i wanted to go really light and it just didn't work out that way but it made me realize i think i want to go like really dark 
the next time I go. And I think within the next month or so, I will go really dark. Just cause like, why not? I always say like, oh, I'm gonna go brunette or you know, dye my hair really dirty blonde and I never do it. So I think the next time, no, no, I don't think. I know the next time I go, I'm gonna fully change my hair. Like, why not? I'm just gonna have a full identity crisis moment <laughs> and just send it. Why not? So I'm gonna take my curlers out, um, but I'm gonna do it for a TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok right here and you can see me take out all my curls and how I style it. But I'm gonna cut to the next clip and we will talk about my possible identity crisis. All right, I just took out all of my curlers. So this is the final look. As you can tell, like the color isn't like way brighter or anything like I originally wanted. But honestly, like I don't mind it. I got like shorter curtain bangs just to add some layers and like dimension to the hair. I feel like for my next time, I really want to go a lot darker. I don't know, but I don't know if I should go like fully brunette and just like fully do it or if I should do like a really, really dark, dirty blonde. So comment down below, DM me, let me know. I really want to know your guys' opinion. Moral of the story, <laughs> eat before you go to the hair salon, bring a snack, bring water. But yeah, this is the final product, but I'm happy with it. It does feel a lot healthier and lighter, and I learned a few tricks while I was there too. So go over to my TikTok, and I really want to do more like hair tutorials and stuff, so stay tuned. But thank you for watching, and like I said, please comment down below what you guys think I should do with my hair. Um, I really want to dye it within like the next month or two, so please let me know, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next video.